Sabercats pregame live is brought to you by Fry's Electronics. Tristan George, one of the class acts in the Arena Football League. He's a Bay Area guy, grew up in the East Bay, went to college at San Jose State. We've been following him around. We followed him all the way back to his old high school. And this is brought to you by Panda Security, the one to watch. Last week, Tristan George returned to St. Mary's High School, a place he calls home, and a place he credits with taking a boy in need of direction and transforming him into a man. Being introduced to, you know, the real life college and living on your own and, uh, you know, having to take care of more responsibilities, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't do it any other place but here because of the amount of care and the amount of, you know, emotion that the teachers show towards the students and, uh, you know, how they actually go out and, uh, you know, they try to make you a better person. How you doing? Now, this lady right here is very important. Now, she helped me get into this school. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even have been at St. Mary's. Yeah. And he, Sweetheart. He's a great gentleman and a great athlete, and uh, we really... This is my home. This is where I grew up, right here, St. Mary's. I ain't grew up nowhere else but here. This is where I learned how to be a man. Faculty, staff, and students embrace Treston with open arms and consider him part of the family. It was at St. Mary's where Treston learned what it takes to turn dreams and personal goals into reality. You know, something you gotta do, you gotta dream. And if you can't dream, you can't see it. And if you can't see it, you wouldn't even know it exists. So coming here and dreaming is what, you know, started me and, you know, saying that you could do something uh, before it happens, you know, it actually can happen. So I used to say, I'm gonna put my name up here and uh, I stuck with that, you know, in the way that I worked out, in the way that I thought, and in the way that I carried myself. And, uh, you know, here we go, 2008, my name's up here. So. What's up? What's going on? How are you? And I was just explaining to the cameras <laughs> uh -huh. that there was this, uh, this coach that saw this scrawny kid who had a little bit of athletic ability and wanted him to triple jump. That's right, that's this right. Is, this is the guy right, right here, that's right. Coach that's right. Rogers. A little bit more than a little athletic ability. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of athletic ability, so we saw that pretty good. Definitely. Uh, yeah, those were the good old days. As a senior at St. Mary's, Treston was one of the state's top football and track prospects with scholarship offers from programs around the country. Treston selected San Jose State in order to stay close to home and his ailing mother, a woman who sacrificed to keep him on the straight and narrow. I knew that, you know, I built a name for myself here at St. Mary's and I proved to myself, you know, um, a lot of things that, you know, I may not have believed that I can do in the past. So um, just being able to, to grow from, from where, what I've done here, I said, well, you know, I could do the same thing, you know, in college, no matter what colors I wear. So, you know, uh, my decision was easy, and if I had to make it over again, I definitely would. Tristan's life has seen struggle and triumph, setbacks and victory. It's a life story that has caught the interest of local documentary filmmakers who are putting the finishing touches on the Tristan George story. The reason he's such a good athlete uh, is the same reason he's such a good person in general and the reason it's such a good story. His ferocity on the field and his sensitivity as a person off the field I think is another great paradox with Tristan. I think I'm always surprised to see that range that he has as a person. What we need right now in the community is we need to acknowledge these children and acknowledge what their talents are and uplift their talents because it's an identity that, that we're searching for. We're searching for an identity. If it wasn't for football, I'd be searching for an identity. And the identity I'd be searching for would probably be the, the, the identity of the street because that's all that's given to us. Tristan remains focused on his professional goals as a pro athlete, but always finds his way back to the East Bay to be a role model for the Berkeley Cougars football squad. You know, you never know who you may touch. So, you know, it's important to be able to go back and, and say, hey, you know, uh, I, I came from this same place and, you know, look what I've done. With the same opportunity, you know, as you did. So just to be able to say that to these kids, some of them may, you know, may not have noticed that, you know, beforehand, you know, and, uh, but just by somebody coming back and saying that, you know, can actually uh, send a light bulb in their head. The Trust in George story is still unfolding, but the ending is never in doubt, as Trust in George will no doubt win in the end. Steve Pappen joins me once again. And Steve, when you talk about winning a title like the Sabercats did last year, you need to have a lot of character, guys. And no question, Trust in is one of the best in the league. 
outside of his tremendous athletic ability, he's a well-grounded human being. I mean, if you've never seen a guy like him and been around a guy like him, it's somebody you want to, you know, when the story comes out that you want to make sure you read about or you, you know, go by the video or whatever it's going to be because Treston is a true champion in, in every sense of the word. He gives back to the community that gave so much to him. And you, it's hard to find athletes and, and people in general that do the things that he's done over the last couple of years in his community. And a tough thing for the San Jose Sabercats. He's one of the best returners in the league. He will not, he's not even here tonight. He hurt his ankle last week against Philadelphia. How much does that hurt the ball club? Well, it hurts it a little bit because, like you mentioned before, he's a great kick returner. He's a great guy, you know, uh, in that locker room. And one thing it's going to do this year, it's going to let Rodney Wright get a chance to get some off the net. It's going to get Cle uh, Clenard Santilla a chance to get some off the net. But, you know, they're going to miss Treston because he just has another gear that those two guys don't possess right now. Thanks so much, Steve. Yeah, Tristan George didn't even make the flight over here, so that's tough. He will not be here tonight. He's been placed on IR, should be out for a few games. Now, if you're looking for the San Francisco Giant game against the St. Louis Cardinals, that game is airing right now on Comcast Sportsnet Plus, which can be found on Comcast Digital Cable Channel 410 or Direct TV Channel.